अमित शाह जिंदाबाद बीबी बीबी मकडो बीजेपी जिंदाबाद नरेंद्र मोदी जिंदाबाद अमित शाह जिंदाबाद बीबी मकडो जिंदाबाद Here is uh, one voters of the constituency Mahati. We want to know what is his vision and views for the last sitting MLA from here. What do you think? Your MLA did he have the work of development or what? No, as of now we have seen that uh, our ex MLA he has done nothing for our constituency, and our people have suffered a lot. Right from electricity to housing to proper roads, there has nothing has been done. And as of now, we all know that our sitting MLA has been in jail. For the last year, so what we need now is a change. What we need is uh, people like Bibi Makdo, who is a dynamic leader, who can work for us, who can work right from providing employment to better opportunities for creating jobs, for creating uh, better marketing in farming system. So we need a dynamic leader. We need a leader like Bibi Makdo. Okay, you us. are a very young and youth boy. Yeah. Do you think that the BJP is going to receive a margin from the Maoati? Yes, definitely. As of now, the Mahati, uh, the BJP way, has been uh, very strong in Mahati. So let's hope for the best. Thank you. BJP and Lok Modi. In Mahati, in my constituency, there is a big of uh, Modi way. So we have been everywhere, especially all around the world. Modi is a great man. He concentrate. He works. For the betterment of our people, that's what this time BJP will come in power. I'll definitely assure you, BJP will come in power. We need a change. We need BJP, and we are very thankful for Prime Minister Modi. He leads us into the. And I think you also agree with the point that the demonetization and the GST is a dead type of decision to provide the Modi. Which may it be possible that not to be, um, not good for in the present time, but it is a distinct vision in the coming time that this decision will bring out a good economical strengthening to our country also. So, last, what you want to appeal from your the voters? What is your message for your voters, supporters, and for the workers on the 27th of the February? The date of poll had been announced. So, what is your appeal from them, and what is your message for the voters of Mahati? This is my message for my voters, for the people of Ribor District, and especially for the people of Mawati constituency. Please vote for BJP. We need a change. We need a development. And I am very thankful for Prime Minister Modi. He is the one he has led us the example to the development of the state of Meghalaya, especially for the India as a whole. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you. You have given so much. Thank you for that. As we are working inside in the state of the Meghalaya, today we have invited our so important guests who have not the requirement of the any new identity as because he is already in the social assist as a social worker and we will ask some of the important questions from him that what is his motive to contest the election battlefield and why he want to become the MLA from the Mahati Assembly constituency. Mahati is a constituency where from the last time the people have elected and selected the one of the independent candidate and what is a right now condition we all are knowing it as a statewide level. Time for change, time for BJP is the slogan here of the BJP contesting candidate from the uh, Mahati Assembly constituency as his name is Vanuhai Magdo, we will ask from him that uh, what he will do for the development of the Mahati constituency which was remains constant today also till this time also after we had an MLA also supported for the Congress party but right now what is the actual condition for the Mahati assembly constituency. Mr. Magdo, you are most welcome for our program, sir. Yes, thank you. First of all, we want to know that when from you have started your political career as a social worker till today. In fact, uh, I've been social worker since last 20 years. Mm -hmm. uh, only one year I've been joining BJP. This was the first political party in my life. After I retired from social organization, this was my first political party. Right. 
Sir, what you have did the upliftment of the, your people, of your Mahati, as well as the country uh, people of the Meghalaya state. What do you have did? Why the people of the Mahati want to elect and select the uh, Magdo from one uh, who from the same country to and say, is this the wave of the BJP or is the wave personal of the yours? The I just want to highlight you. The first thing is that. Uh, uh, we have been uh, deprived by the state government of Meghalaya under the leadership of uh, Dr. Mukul Sarma, Congress government. See, the people are really fed up with this government, Congress government. We are totally deprived by the state government. So now the people, you see, they need a change. They need the development. Us, we have seen all over India, BGP has come forward. It did a lot of uh, development program in this country. So. In this Meghalaya also, the people really love BGP because we need a change. And second thing that uh, since I'm being a social worker since last 20 years, everyone loves me, everyone knows me. So uh, there are two ways, BGP way and my personal career way. Oh, both of continuously are working here and also the BGP last one, 2014. Yes. They were working only as a government of the state in the eight, eight states only, but it is converted to the 18. Yes. And the election in the Nagaland, election in the Meghalaya and the Tripura is going. Also inside in the Tripura, there is a good wave as yes. the persons are saying, Amisa is declared that they are going to Oh, we have move out the Manik Sarkar from the Agatala. Yes. And in the uh, same, same thing is here in the Meghalaya. Yeah. Hector incumbency is working here. Yeah. That's why the last time from the 70th continued the Congress party and his alliance had worked here. But what is the condition today you are noting in regard of the upliftment of the tribal people? for to provide the employment to the intellectual and employed youth. Yes. So what would be the program of the BJP? When you will be in the party, let's suppose that you are, right now you are in the center. Yes. Let's suppose that we are the mountainous state yes. and our revenue taxes are not very much enough for to maintain the public sector or private sector development. Yes. So if the people will ask you this, this they are important work for to bring the BGP, mm -hmm. then sir, what would be the polite program of the central along with your state government for the upliftment of the farmer? for the upliftment of the tribal peoples and for to minimize the unemployment problem from your state. The first question is before you have. Okay, the first thing is that if you talk about the farmers, maximum is my in my constituency, especially in Riboy district, they are totally depend on farming. You know? Yes. So these people they really face a lot of problems regarding this uh, farming. You know, they didn't get not even a single price from the state government towards the farming system. Right. So the thing is this, that people, they need a change. The first thing, we have to grow up with the farming system. And second thing, the youth of Megalia, especially in river district, they are suffer a lot because no job, no government job at all. They really suffer. As I've told you earlier, the people of Megalia has been deprived by the state government. This is the first point that uh, the local youth also, they face a lot of problems. No job. That's why it makes them sometimes they have to turn out their life into the worst thing, you know. That, uh, that means uh, they want, some of them have joined uh, underground, some of them they've been doing such uh, criminal things, this and that, due to an, an unemployment problem. So if I'll come, if people will elect me at the MLA, if the people will vote BGP, so the first thing I have to concentrate with the youth only. Right. And that's the main thing. I have to uh, come up with a power that there should be an empowerment of the women also. Right. And what about the program for to increase the widow's pension, old age pension, and what would be the program to reduce the BPL peoples from your history? BPL. BPL. To reduce them. Yes, yes, yes. That's what. If BGP will come in power, I'll definitely assure that uh, there should be no BPL at all. Because right now, lots of BPL less has been included in Megalia. But I'm sorry to say that uh, out of this BPL list, those who are giving the priority is that only for those who are having the relation with the MLA. There are maximum BPL list in Riboy district, especially in my constituency. But uh, 
the people who, who got uh, advantage, who got uh, support, who got uh, these things, uh, uh, personal, personal, uh, personal help from right. from, from the India. state government is that only for those who are having a very close relation with oh, the government. from this. Actually, on this we would like to ask from you that the donor minister, yeah. that is the honorable Jitendra Singh, yes, yes. development of northeastern region. Yeah. Last from the 2014 to last time, mm -hmm. before the announced date has been announced by the election commission of India, yes. there has been a good amount has been sanctioned from the donor minister. Mm -hmm. But while from the state government, that amount was not, not accepted by mm -hmm. having creating the new norms and the guidelines by the planning department approval that we can't do this. So what do you think? Is, uh, is this a fair way? The central government is going to release the central government schemes but uh, by from the donor minister but uh, the state government has not accepted that. What is the reason? What do you think? You see the state government does not take uh, initiative with the policies and all. Hmm? That is the main thing. And uh, second thing is that uh, if you talk about the policies of the government, why do we suffer? Due to the government does not make the proper policies for the state government. We, do, we heard about uh, so many, uh, a huge amount of information from the central government. But the, it does not reach to the people, to the poor people. And especially if you talk about uh, BPLs, you see they are crying like anything. Mm. When we are going in the East Kasi Hill, East Garo Hill, Southwest District, River District, inside all the things, all the places we are looking, that the tribal peoples of the whole community is facing a livelihood problem there. They don't have the eat to properly, they don't have the milk to provide their kids. So, yes. in the last, when you will be in the power, means the BJP will be in the power, then for the upliftment of the tribal community people, what will be the special program? Is there anything? No, my main thing is this, uh, my main purpose is that uh, if I'll come in power, definitely I'll try to change, to change, to change the, uh, means change in, in every, in every way, you know. Uh, the thing is that uh, if BGP will come in power, I'm 100% assured to the people of Ribo District, especially Mawati, that I can do better than this an ex MLA or the previous MLA can do. As I've told you, this local MLA is not working today. You know? Yes, CST Commission, Minister of Travel and the Minister of Donor is going to ready to give the help for the from the central government for the Meghalaya state. Now they are waiting only for to come in the power for again for the five years. So last we want to know from you when you will be the MLA from the Mahati, what will be the three priority? What do you want to do? Here inside in the Mawati. Now, first thing I have to concentrate with the farming. And lots, uh, as I told you, 80% are depend on farming system. You know, they are farmers. And second, second thing is that uh, if you go somewhere, if you go around the Mawati constituency, you'll, you'll see totally there's no development, especially in road connection, electricity, connectivity, there's no water. Drinking water, drinking water problem. Okay. Housing, there's no housing. If uh, if I come in power, definitely that uh, these are the three things that I can do for the people of Mount Well, sir, now what is your in the last we want to know what is your vision about the Honorable Prime Minister of the India that is from the BJP party? What do you think about the Narendra Damodar Yes. Narendra Modi is a dedicated person and a hard working. 